good guys what's good it's your girl faith we're back with another video from faith facts so how is everyone's week going my week is going pretty good i uh i got a 30 page book to read by tomorrow that i've only read three pages of so that's always a win uh i got like 17 essay questions to do in history uh aside from that i'm just all caught up you know because online school well anyway that's not what we're here to talk about today today we're here to talk about this movie that i saw on netflix so as you saw in some of my later videos from like maybe two three weeks ago i told you guys that i had been watching unbreakable kimmy schmidt on Netflix and I thought hey this is a really nice show and you know what Netflix decided to do they decided to drop a movie I think it is a movie or a longer episode of the TV show I know the show ended like four or five months ago so this is like a shock to me but it is called Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and the impossible Anyway, it is called Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy vs. the Reverend, I believe. And I guess it's about Kimmy finally, um, defeating the Reverend. Oh, yeah, and there's gonna be spoilers in this. Well, anyway, it's gonna be me and my reactions to the video, to the movie. It's gonna be me and my reactions to the movie, and what I think of the movie at first, and, you know, what it is. And I actually saw on Netflix, it says that it's an interactive movie, so I guess we get to like choose which path Kimmy goes down, and that sounds super fun. I've never seen any movie like that, so we gonna watch it today, folks. So let's go check this out. I'm gonna get my popcorn, you go get your popcorn too. Let's watch this. Okay, so it's about 11 now, and I just finished watching the movie, and guys, guys, that was a crazy movie. I mean, that was the most suspenseful movie I have ever watched in my entire life, and there's only, like, one action scene. Like, guys, by interactive, which is what it says the movie is in the description, you get to choose what each character does at least twice in a scene so like for example uh, the first choice was that if Kimmy wanted to uh, get a fancy dress in, for her wedding instead of a fun looking dress you got to choose which dress she wanted to wear and guys I that was the easiest one every other one was super hard like when Kimmy actually gets suspicious about the reverend and thinks that he's hiding more girls in other places in the country and she goes to the jail house to talk to him you have the choice between socializing with him or cutting right to the chase about if there are any other girls and i made the mistake of choosing the socialize with him part and guys that was a very dark uh turn and by dark turn i mean dark like rick straight up died right there and then after that it went to like a black screen and then Titus one of the uh, Kimmy's friends came up on the screen and said now that wasn't a good choice was it now let's go back and do the right thing and then it, like rewinded it back and chose the right answer for me so I got kind of scared about that because after that I was kind of paranoid about which one I would choose and if it was right or wrong Guys, I was nervous for whatever I answered next. But here's the plot of the movie. So, it's about two years after the series Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt ended. And Kimmy is a famous author now. Her best friend Titus is a famous actor. He's married to his boyfriend on the show, Mikey. And Lillian is... 
well, Lillian, and Jackie is like a successful agent now. And everyone's getting together because Kimmy is marrying her fiancé, a British monarch named Frederick. So, you know, Kimmy is walking down the street with her old backpack from before she got in the bunker. And then she opens the backpack up after the backpack, which is a puppet, says, Hey, I feel I won't lose enough weight in time for your wedding. So then Kimmy opens the backpack and finds a book. But this book isn't a book she got. It's a book from a school that she did not go to. So then she calls her friend Sydney, who was also in the bunker with her, and then Sydney suggests, well, maybe there are other girls that the Reverend had kidnapped before, and they may still be out there. So then, two days before Kimmy's wedding, Kimmy takes Titus to West Virginia, because that's where they tracked the book to come from, to find these girls that could have been in a bunker. Meanwhile, Jackie, as you see on the screen right now, has to stall for Titus because one day later, he's supposed to be filming his biggest movie yet. So she's stalling and stalling and stalling for him while him and Kimmy go to West Virginia to find these girls. But the thing they don't know is that the Reverend somehow got out of jail and is going to the bunker in West Virginia to take them to another bunker so he doesn't get caught. So it is super suspenseful and mixed with the choices that you have to make to see the movie progress. And what I didn't learn until halfway through the movie was that if you make three wrong mistakes, it returns you to the beginning of the movie and you have to start all over again. So yeah, that was a incredibly crazy movie, just like the show. I would definitely recommend it, especially, you know, want something fun to do at home, something out of the usual. I would definitely recommend watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy vs. the Reverend, the interactive movie, on Netflix today. Yeah. Anyway, guys, don't forget to give this video a like if you love it. Comment below what you think of the movie if you saw it. And subscribe for more amazing content. And help me reach my goal of 125 subscribers by clicking that subscribe button below. My goal is 125 subscribers by June 31st. I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you later. Peace. Thank you.